Hi, Caitlin Offer here. This Saturday marks the opening of the $5.7 million Zigzag Cultural Centre in Kalamunda. Earlier this week, the Shire of Kalamunda's Nicole O'Neill and President Don McKechnie took the Hills Gazette on a tour of the brand new facility. Hi Don, so how excited are you about the opening this Unbe weekend? Unbelievably excited. I, I think it's um, this uh, pr project was started in May 2010 and it's cost around about in excess of $5.7 million. Yeah. We've got a tremendous amount of support from the Commonwealth and from the state, and uh, we've put in a, bit, a little bit from the, the sh uh, from the Shire. Excellent, and what do you think it will mean to it, it, we, we reckon this will be the gateway to the hills. Yeah. And um, we've got a wonderful world-class facility. We've got the, the, we've got the, um, uh, the cafe over there. We've got the, the con conference centers. We've got the art gallery and we've got our beautiful history village which has been opened up tremendously uh, with this new project. Excellent, yeah. and so you're hoping that many people will be coming down I'll, on Saturday? I, rec I reckon we'll be run over the top of on, on Saturday. Excellent. And, and we're looking forward to that. We want every 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 able-bodied person in Kalamunda to come and, come and see us on Saturday morning. Excellent, fantastic. Yeah. The saying, if you build it, they will come, is famous throughout the Western world. If you build it, they will come. But will they? Well, if you have put in as much effort and planning as we have with the new Zigzag Cultural Centre, then I suspect you will succeed. For it's with careful planning, community consultation, communication, attention to detail, and collaboration with the key stakeholders that a project is successful. The development of the Zigzag Cultural Centre has certainly had all the uh, whole of these elements. Whilst building of, of the centre commenced in May 2010, the necessary planning, consultation, communication and collaboration were underway for many years previously. Community engagement has been pivotal, with residents providing direct input into the design of the centre from start to finish, as well as naming it. Such processes have aided in the development of a real public value and sense of community ownership of the facility, and it has not even opened yet. The centre marks the commencement of a very exciting new chapter in the history of Kalamunda and gives a professional and credible foundation for the continued growth of the Perth Hills as a tourist destination. Branded as the gateway to the Perth Hills, the centre provides residents and visitors with an opportunity to explore and experience a wide array of local and regional attractions. It will also become a community hub with a cafe, meeting rooms and the first professional public gallery in the region allowing for local, national and international artists to exhibit works with rates for both commercial bookings and community groups to further encourage our very creative local community. The centre complements the existing Kalamunda Cultural Precinct, following along the Railway Heritage Trail and within a close proximity to the northern terminus of the iconic Bibliman Track. The new centre also marks the entrance of the Kalamunda History Village Museum. The opening of the centre will also include the unveiling of the Big Diverse Art Exhibition. The exhibition will feature over 20 local artists with a range of painting, sculpture and jewellery on show. So to read all about the brand new Zigzag Cultural Centre, be sure to pick up a copy of this weekend's Hills Gazette.